Hello and welcome to 15 Minute Gamer. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos. And for as little as 99 pence, you can now join. Just click the join button above. This is Aurora 4X and welcome to a brand new Let's Play and a bit of a tutorial. And to show this game off because I love it. It's made by one guy. You can get it for free now off the forums. It's um under development, basically it's just moved from Visual Basic to C hash. I don't, I, I don't know what's, what that's classed as, C plus maybe. Um, and this guy just, you know, it's been going for years and years and years and years. And it's so in depth. It is fantastic. It's sometimes described as the dwarf fortress of um, space games. And they're very similar in a lot of ways, but in a lot of ways they're definitely not similar. This has no graphics as such. Um, this is a lot more about using that imagination. It's all about design and the the control over your empire you have. You know, if there's a missile, you don't just say stick a missile on that ship. You've got to design the fire control mechanism, the sensors, the turret design, and the missile itself. And what it does, it gives you such a great understanding because if you run into an enemy fleet that can do... You know, go at twelve thousand kilometers a second. You have to design your missiles to counteract that speed. You can't have a missile that does four thousand meters a second because the ship will just turn around and outrun it. So you're in everything, and also when you design the sensors, like your sensors could go to say two hundred fifty million kilometers, but your missile might only be able to go a hundred kilometers. 100 million so you have to redesign that sensor to come down to 100 million or redesign your missile again to go to so the the integrate details around this are fantastic and i'm going to take you from the beginning a conventional start and i'm going to amend some of the stats of a conventional start what a conventional start does it puts you right at the beginning of the game um there's also a non-conventional start that you can like give yourself stuff and that um we're going to start right at the conventional side of things and I'm going to show you how to build your first ship, what to build, what to research, how it works, stuff like that. So, this is the game settlement menu. Maximum number of systems. So, the maximum games, there's going to be a thousand. That's fine. Um, local system generation uh, chance is 50%. So, you know, you can see the tooltips down there if I hover over it. Um, I am going to change construction cycle down to that because that's um, five days, I think. Um, you can change that if you want to. Uh, basically, construction happens on a five-day cycle. Um, difficulty modifier, I am going to drop it down to 90. Just a little bit. That won't change too much. Just down a little bit because I said I'm not a massive. I'm only about 20 hours in. I have 40 pages of notes wrote down of how to play this game. Um, so I actually have another save run at the moment, which is more of a, um, how I'm learning to play. And now I'm hoping once I learn how to do a certain thing, I'll then jump into here, record it, and continue to let's play. Um, we'll leave difficulty on 90, research 100, find terraform hunt. You can change all of these if you want. Um, NPR, generation chance, basically that's a non-player race. If I go into a new star system, I have a 30% chance of finding a non-player race. They could be hostile, they could be friendly, they could be nice. They could be the Borg and want to kill me. So that's 30%. Um, also, non-player race, they will go out and explore as well. So we're going to create one non-player race. Um, and then you have a 10% of creating another one. Um, ruin generation, there's ruins on here. Minimum comments for system, we're going to leave it zero, zero. Space master, we'll talk about in a minute. Leave them as they are. I leave all these as is there um so basically precursors are um the god ancient ruins we've got invaders that will come and kill everything um so they're interesting star swarm uh, alien species of ships and them so there's a couple of things you can put in um so you can see all there. You can change it. You can put maintenance. I'll explain maintenance. Uh, fleet penalty, political. You can change all that sort of thing. Starting yet, we're going to start in 2020. Uh, we're going to have one player race, which is going to be me. Uh, number of non-player races, we're going to have one. Minimum star drop. I want six. So basically this means that my soul system will have six jump points minimum to go to other uh, sectors and star systems. So I'm going to put on six. Sometimes if you want zero, you could only get one. And you're kind of boxed in. 
using space master you can add jump points so you could get out of it but it's just a hassle just i'm just putting six um earth deposits i am cranking that up a lot of these settings i'm changing is just quality life improvements sometimes the earth like especially when you're doing a tutorial i'm gonna be taking things slowly i don't want the game to go oh you've run out of this and run out of this and run out and not be able to show you something so for the moment i'm gonna pull that up make it a little bit easier and basically non-player races will be a minimum of 25 light years away between 25 and 50. so we're gonna go down there we're gonna call the new game save uh tony empire i think create game and when here, so the the race title is going to be the Tony Empire. Short name: Empire Homeworld Earth. Um, you've got two stars here, so you've got the conventional, non-conventional. This is the non-conventional, and it gives you like a basically it starts here a little bit advanced in the game and a bit more of a quick start. I had one start from the beginning to show you how everything works. So we're going to click conventional. But what I'm going to do is change some of these. Um into things just again quality of life so i'm going to click that and then you'll see all this disappear boom <laughs> gone <laughs> so um that's me that's the ship i can change them i'll change them in a second um what you can do as well on non-conventional you can make the game design things for you rather than you have to design them yourself so there is that little bit of advanced things you do but we're gonna start conventional um this is species we're gonna be human uh, you can amend all these, so say, you know, if you think, like, xenophobia, that's, like, how scared I am of aliens, you can change all these just by going on and doing that. Takes two seconds, just as long as you use a spreadsheet, you can do it. Um, species, we're going to be human. Now, what these, these are fantastic, these, the way it names everything within the game, you can do whatever you want. You can have Star Trek names, Star Trek ships, stars, stars and planets, stellar class, Swedish fish, um... And everything you can play around with that to your heart's content. I usually I'm sticking with United Kingdom. You can have Warhammer 40k Empire. Um, so we're gonna go class theme. We're gonna have United Kingdom. We're gonna have rank theme. So rank theme is you know like Colonel Major. You can have that as anything you want. You can have it as what they are in Mexico. You can have it as in hippie names. You can have it as in uh, Germany, Brazil, Aztec, ancient Greece, African Union. So you can tail this game to your heart's content and name theme we're going to go to english uh, we can change these they're just so unrelevant though they don't change the game but i usually just put union jack on all these flags are included in the game so you can select any of them i think you can possibly even upload your own but there's a lot of flag I mean, if you want to be pirates <laughs> you can go that and we're going to be english uh, i'll leave that as is because i said it makes no difference you do have lots of um now, I have all these built into the game as well. So you can have a little profile picture if you want. You could be a grumpy man. You could be Stalin, I guess. <laughs> you could be a dog with a gun. You can be whatever you want. Um, so we're just going to leave that. Right on here, uh, again, a few quality lives. I'm just going to give yourself a few more shipyards, a few more research facilities, a few more conventional factories. Um, so what the difference between conventional factories and construction audience, ordnance? Basically, um, if you do the conventional start you haven't found or discovered or researched trans newtonium elements which is what the game is kind of like that's the beginning lore of the game um if you do a non-conventional start you've discovered that we're going to start when we're basically 2020 as we are now this is what a conventional start is so i'm gonna have a thousand conventional factories uh, i'm gonna give myself 400 mines um i'm not gonna give myself any automated mines fuel refineries We'll have 100. Financial centers, we'll have 120. Maintenance facilities, these are bollocks, so I'm just going to put 20. Um, we'll leave that as 111. Fuel stockpile, just because, again, if we get a bad rule on the dice of what Earth looks like, that could be a problem. Uh, maintenance stockpile, we'll give ourselves 35,000 as a stockpile. You'll understand MSPs we go through. No tech points and no ship build points. Um, am I happy with everything on there? Don't want any of them, 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 don't want any of them. Any of them. Yep, I'm happy with that. And then we're going to create race. And this, within about two seconds, will create the game for us. So this is the game map. This is what the game looks like. You can zoom all the way in. You can zoom all the way out. And this is the Sol, Sol system. Look, there's Sol, Mercury, Venus, Earth, 
Mars and so forth. And um, people have done ones where they've created things like the Halo universe and stuff out in here. Um, to understand this, these are all asteroids and comets. Can you see Whipple? And it's got a line coming out the back of it there. That means it's moving in this direction towards my solar system. Um, you can see there's Halley's Comet, which I'm sure you've heard of. It will be somewhere in here. Uh, probably hiding somewhere. And you can see there that this uh, Rhinemuth one is just past Earth now. It'll head towards the sun. And then it'll go wee and back out the solar system. And then it'll get the edge of the solar system. That's how things work. And then it'll turn back around and come back in. Um, all of the solar system is here. So if I click on Earth, zoom in, there's the moon. There's Earth. And you can go and explore all these. You can even colonize and terraform. And usually Mars is your first sort of hit. And I had 250 million people living on Mars. And 500 million people living on the moon by my game that I'm currently on. I'd also mine Venus. And I was just about to head off and mine somewhere else. Um, so let's explain how this game works. Mouse wheel, zoom in and out. Um, along here, you have filters. So I usually have mine on the minerals, but we'll look on display. So if you're like, what the hell is this game? Just click asteroids and it'll just hide all the asteroids and you're just left with the comments, survey points and planets. And we're going to leave them on for the moment though. Just because I think it's good to show you how it does. You can change all these. The one I would put on is events. Very important. Click that because events are important in this game. Right. We're going to play along these as we go along so there's no real worry. Um, you can zoom in and out here if you want to as well. Um, along up here, you have home. Now, these first one, two, three, four, five buttons all do the same thing. They're all on the same screen. You can press that and access all these screens. Um, so that's research. That's wealth. That's mining. That's industry. That's summary page. We're going to click on there in a second, though. Um, along here is the class design window. That's where we're going to design our ships. Along here is the project window. This is where we're going to design sensors, jump drives, engines, that sort of thing. Along here is the fleet organization window. So what this is, uh, when we have a fleet, we can organize it in there. I think it would be better if that was maybe along here and we had the missiles so it was all design things because that's how you design your missiles, that's how you design, design your turrets. So I would really have these two together. But never mind. Um, this is your command window. We'll have it in a second. We've got the metal creation window. Um, so what you can do, say your soldiers are heroic in battle, you can make a medal and give it to all them and uh, give you command and officer medals and stuff. Um, this is your race window, system view window, galactic map window, race comparison, intelligence window if you meet aliens, um, along here, technology report when you're building things and minerals, um, sector window, events. So events is just telling you what's happened in your game. Um, I usually change this to 90 days just because I tend I run the game a lot in 30 day increments. So what this is is turn based strategy kind of. So you can run it in 30 day increments, 5 day increments, 1 day increment, 8 hours. Industry takes over on 5 days. Um, so if something's going to, I think research is kind of the same. You just go in 5 day chunks. It's just better. It's not a waste of time. Just 5 day chunk it. Uh, 30 days. So when you're in the battle, you might want a 5 second interval up because you want to see where missiles are going. If you want to raise shields, if you want to escape, if you want to go towards jump points, that sort of thing. Uh, but mostly you're going to be concentrating on needs here. You might be doing one day just to see where your ship goes. And, that. and the first time we build a ship, we will be running in one day windows. Um, so that's how it all works. Right. Summary window. This is important. So this is Earth. We've only discovered Earth. We haven't discovered anything else because I said we're in what we class as a modern day thing. I'm going to take a drink while we're here because I have a sore throat. So long here. <clears throat> God. My voice is gone. That would be bad for a video, wouldn't it? We can see everything about the Earth. So we can see its status, its species, we're human. Um, how many things we've got. Our workers, we've got 500 million population, and that's where they all work. I know, it's it's not quite that, obviously, because people will be at school and stuff. Uh, annual growth rate currently is zero. That'll go to about 2.5 um, once we start. There's the manufacturing sector breakdown, so that's how many we've got at work and everywhere. And uh, that's our gravity breathable atmosphere. This is all the stuff we have on Earth. So we have 400 mines, we have 100 fuel refineries, we have 20 maintenance, we have 120 financial centers. We have one deep space track and one military can we want the other and one space thing. Uh, our thermal signature. I don't know what difference that makes. I think it might be something to do with aliens. I don't know though. Uh, political stability. 
and we can refuel we can get ordnance uh we can do cargo but we can't do orbital mining uh fuel available we have 12 million uh liters of it and we have thirty-five thousand maintenance supplies and we've got these are all the materials we have now mining we're going to skip industry for the moment mining this is all the materials i have on earth i have 400 mines when you're mining it'll mine each one of them things but it's based on accessibility so a one accessibility is the best so at full capacity my 400 mines are mining out five and a half thousand tons of geranium i have a stockpile of five thousand and basically what this means is going to deplete itself in 156 years so 156 years with 400 mines I will have no geranium left on Earth. Same as neutronium, carbonite, tritanium, boronide, mercury. So you can see it goes down. And look, if we look here, which is 0 0.6 accessibility, which means it's a little bit harder to get. There's also less of it. I'm only mining 3,300 tons per year. So that's going to run out in 36 and a half years. So our main one is iridium. Um, the main resources you use, I've kind of noticed, are geranium and... Um, Corinthium. I ran out of this and it became a bit of a problem in test game. And that's what you're doing. And then you can see there we've got 400 manned mines. We'll skip shipyards. Sh skip that and go to research. First thing we need to do is research transnatonium ele ele elephants? Elements. And then we can start the game properly. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to construction and production. Now how this works, these are all the different things. So bio biology slash generics. Construction, production, defensive systems, energy weapons. As you see, energy weapons has none because we haven't started any research in that. When we get transnetonian technology, that'll start to unlock. So you can see that there's all the things we can unlock in research at the moment. Things have a research value. So this has a research value of 5,000. If we go down to construction, transitorium has one of 5,000. That is, you generate a certain amount of research points per year. And again, it's based on how many research facilities you have. So, we will. that's the first thing we want to do. Now, if we go down the side, these are all the things that people are trained in. So, these are all our scientists. And strange enough, you will get used to your scientists and you're like, oh, yeah, Eve, yeah, you're really good defensive things. They get a bonus. So, this is how much quicker they'll do the task and also how many labs they can give them so we can have 12 if i click on there i can only give them 12 if i select this person i can only give them 10 so kin look sign research 10 um that person is not matching with that what i can do is click match and scientists only and it'll tell me which scientists i can do that with luckily our best scientist also does that so that's great so i'm gonna click there click there i'm gonna give them all 12 research facilities and click create a project so it comes up to here transitorium technology zachary he's got a bonus of 30 which is a bonus modifier of 2.2 annual rp with our research labs is 5280 there's 5000 remaining so it's going to take roughly a year so it's going to be ready 11 december 2020 1st of january 2020 can you see that on there yeah that is set. I can also queue things as well. So, Zachary, after you've done that, dude, what I want you to do is I want you to research maintenance production rates. So once you finish that, I want you to do this. So what I'm going to do is click add to queue, and that will queue up that job for that guy next. So you can, it's only ones you've done, but you can see on there, once I've done this, loads of new things will open. But I just want to show you how queuing works. All you do is click on the name. And then click on add to queue. You can add things that someone's not um, thingied in. So say if I give him power and propulsion. he's n That's not his field. That's not his job. Um, but luckily we have a power and propulsion person there. So I can stick them to do that. But you can only do it with how many research labs you have. So we only have 12. What I can do though is if I wanted to you know, say actually I really want you to do that. And I need it now. What I can do is remove research labs. Can you see that? 9 out of 15. 8 out of 15. And then what I can do is click on there and click on there. So you can see there, I've got four research labs available. I want to give you that. I'm going to create a project. And then can you see that person there? 
now does has them for nil complete on the 16th of August 2020. The reason for that is it only needs 1,000 RP. And because they've got four of them, they're creating 1,600 annually. So it's going to take, what, cut eight months or something. If I don't want to do that, I just click on there and click cancel. Click yes. When you cancel something, whatever you've researched into it will stay. So if you've researched half of it, you'll still stick with half. And we're going to add you back in at 12. And then we're going to come out of there. And we're going to go into industry. So industry is the next tab I want to show you. This is where you build all your stuff. So these are all the stuff you can build currently on Earth. This, this will go up as you go thing. You also have to build, which I didn't realize. I had to put on the forums. How the hell do I do this? You have to actually construct your ordnance as well, your weapons. So you'll set up. You'll say, right, I want to build me 100 missiles. And you'll build them there. You can build your fighters in there, components. So what you can do is you can uh, overstock your components. So you could say, actually, can you build me loads and loads of storage bays for craft? Because I'm going to need them in the future. And space station. I haven't built a space station yet. So unfortunately, not sure what that is. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, because I'm just going to show you how this works. What I want to do is build a military academy. That's the first thing I'm going to build, just to show you how it works. So I click on there, I come down to here, number of items, one. Now, I want to build one military academy. Currently, I have one. Now, military academies, the more you have, the more people it will give you, the more commanders, the more... I'm going to go on that screen in a second, by the way. The more commanders, the better everything in there. So what I'm going to do is build one there, and I want 100% of my 1,000 factories to concentrate on that. I can put 50%. And then dedicate 50% to something else. So what I do is click on there, click on there, click create. And then you can see the military academy, building one. It's going to be ready in two years time on the 26th of May. And the reason it takes so long is because I don't have a thousand. It costs 2,400 to make. And that's why. Now if we look down here, this is how the game, look how you, um, your cost. So it's going to cost me 1,200 uranium, 300 carbonite, 300 titanium, 300 iridium and uh, 300 corodium. Wealth does not mean up here that doesn't matter. Don't think of it like that. Wealth just basically means how long it's going to take. So we can do 1,000 per yeah 1,000 per which means it's going to take 2 years and a bit because 1,000 a year 2,000 be year 2 and then after that. So that's how you build things. Now, the things that you should really concentrate on the beginning is military academies. And then what we're going to do is convert everything to this new transantonial um, element. And I'll show you how to do this probably by the end of the video, I think. So our military academy is the first thing we are building. Now, officer window. This is where the game is like, yeah, you've played 4Xs before. No, you bloody haven't. This is how you play 4X. So, these are all the people our military academy has made. We have vice admirals. We have rear admirals. We have commodores, captain, commanders, lieutenant commanders. We have ground force commanders. We have scientists. And we have administrators. Now, the first thing you want to do is make an administrator of Earth. And the reason you want to do this is because administrators come with bonuses. They might come with a mining bonus, production bonus, factory bonus, that sort of thing. This box up here, get that ticked. <laughs> what that does is every time you make a ship, every time you create an army, every time something happens, it will automatically assign someone to that role. So you don't have to do everything manually. The only thing you have to do manually is a civilian administrators and administrators for like vice admiral of the army or something. That's the only thing you have to do. The rest is all done via the game so the first thing we want to do is we want a earth person so we come down here where it says naval officer and we're going to go down to civilian administrator click on the first one and you can see there this is a civilian administrator of earth so these are this is the person i'm going to put in charge of earth and we have one two three four five six seven eight oh, well, ten people um these are all filters I'll talk about them later on. We'll leave them for the moment. Um, this is A3. So basically, Earth needs somebody of admin rating 3 or above. 
So we currently have Madison, Jake, Olivia, Alexandra, or Louise can be our administrators of Earth. So let's have a look at them. Uh, Jennifer Goodard is admin rating two. You're no good, pet. Um, no, that won't work. Um, admin rating of three. There we go. Let's get rid of everything. Right, so Louise Tucker, what you're going to give me, 5% ground construction bonus. Not bad. Shipbuilding of 15%, production of 15 mining of 20 Wow. Population of 10. But you're also not seristic, but a talented musician. Um, Madison, you're going to give me shipbuilding of 10, mining of 20. Population growth of 5, wealth of 10, and logistics of 5. That's not bad. You're just going to give me logistics. You're just going to give me mining. You're going to give me production, wealth, and logistics. I think it's between these two. Um, but shipbuilding of 15. 15 and 15 of my 20 of mine and yeah you're it louise well done you and now my planetary governor of earth well done well done <laughs> now if you can't assign anyone it'll just say on here it doesn't work we can also do an academy cod commandant or oh, commandant oh my god um that needs an admin rating of one so earth Com academy let's see jake i mean we can use any of these eve what are you gonna give me shipbuilding mining population go not will not listen to advice uncaring no we don't want that trusting pessimistic and patient logistics of 15 production of 30 production shipbuilding i don't think this matters as much but so I don't think we need anyone amazing. But I don't want someone who's uncaring, unimaginative. We don't want them. Debonair, enthusiastic. You know what? Jonathan? You, my friend, are now signed as the Academy Commandant on Earth. Now we're going to go to our naval officers. And we want somebody to be naval admin. Um, and it is CDR or above. So we're going to go down to... Actually, can we do it by CDR? I've never done that before, but I don't think we can. But it would disappear if we couldn't do them. Um, wow, you have a lot of stats, dude. What's CDR? I'm guessing it is... Commodore? Yeah, I would guess Commodore or above. You have a lot going for you, dude. You know what? Oh no, inflexible and dogmatic. We don't want that. Um, substance abuse? No. Sub superstitious yells yields to others. Nope. Um. Oh my God, there's not. God, these guys are pretty rubbish. Wow. Okay, we've got problems. <laughs> Dispassionate, calm, cold manner, calm, skilled, tough, dynamic. I think you're the best. <laughs> Scott, you now have that job, dude. Well done. <laughs> I don't think we have any other jobs, though, for anyone. I know we have an academy commandant. Okay. Let's um, LDCR or above. So they will pretty bad vegetarian rude tolerant friendly combative and reliable hunter dude you sound good to me you be assigned so well done you're now assigned to the academy commandant of earth i've got all my assignments done so the rest will just deal for itself right just looking through me little notes to see if there's anything i wanted to add Next job. I want to increase my shipyards. Oh, that's a not good. We didn't want three commercial. Right. Um, you, I want to add, because our first ship's going to be around about 3,000 tons. Could you do that? So these are our shipyards. We have the Maya System shipyard. We have the Kerr Navy Yard. We have the Fisher Engineering Services. 
and below that we have the how barge company these are commercial so these will build commercial ships n stands for navy so they'll build naval ships and i think one of the first things i want to do now then is i'm going to queue it up i want another naval shipyard uh just give me one of them as soon as you've done that thanks right first thing we want to do is this is how much tonnage this can build so this can build commercials tend to be bigger than military because they got bigger engines and stuff like more cargo capacity that sort of thing military is more about fighting obviously slipways one available one class you've got to assign classes so shipyards don't just build anything you've got to go right i want you to be tooled to build that certain ship for me you can scrap any ship but you can't build it so what i want you to do is maya the thousand capacity is no good so i want you to add a two thousand ton capacity Always remember to click set activity. So by 26 September 21, that'll add 2,000 tons. We'll probably need about 4,000 for our first ship, so we'll have to do another 1,000 after this. But the one after this is 5,000 tons. I don't need that much. So you are going to do on to that. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how turns work now, because we're about half an hour into the video. I think that's about a good place. So you can click to go and, and watch this map move five day. Everything goes on an orbit. Every look, five days. Five days. Things move. It's great. It's so good how things. And look at Whipple coming in. So if we look at Whipple, can you see it's moving in slowly? Like so. Now that would get a little bit tedious, wouldn't it? If you just had to do that. So we have all returns. I'm going to share it that way. Um, our first event. Lieutenant Commander Samri has developed a significant medical problem that will affect his long term health. Current sight and unsigned. So this person's not very well i've had the lead scientist die before that was annoying um so this is sam Rees, who's a lieutenant commander you you have a serious medical problem you're not assigned to anything tell you what you've got early retirement dude <laughs> you're gone we don't mess around in the tony empire so what i'm gonna do is click this button here if it's green, it's going to auto-turn. Now, how auto-turns work, it'll go to the next significant event. That's when it'll stop you. So, if I click 30 days, Major Ethan Jarvis has been killed in an accident. Assignment prior death, unassigned. A science team has finished research into transitorian technology. And then they've started on the second one. I didn't actually want the second one to go ahead. Um, also, can you remember when we put the, the people in charge before? Now, if we have a look, can you see the bonuses towards mining? Because this guy gives a 20% increase in our mining. Before, it was like 5,000. It's now 6,000. Unfortunately, it does mean we're going to deplete quicker, but nah. <laughs> so, ship builds 15% quicker and stuff like that. So, what we're going to do is go into our research window. Um, I'm actually going to cancel this project. I don't want you to build that. What I want you to do is we want some geo surveys. Uh, so we can start looking for other materials and start looking at things. So we want, um, I think it's under sensors. Um, yep, there they are. Geo survey centers. Sensors. Uh, do we have any scientists? We have Kane, a twenty percent bonus. That'll do. Um, you can only have ten. We have twelve, so we can actually have a second research going on here. So we're going to create that project. And I think for a second one, let's have a look. And uh, we don't want Terraform yet. I'm not interested in that. Um, you know what? That's almost done. Let's tell you what. Just get that done. Let's just. That's going to take pff, what? Hang on a second. Why is that going to take so long? <laughs> oh, yeah, because you've already got two research labs. Uh, let's cancel that project. I was like, that won't take long. Um, let's see. Do we want anything interesting? Um, tell you what would be nice. Missiles, because we will be looking at missiles. So, um, what's cheap? actually no pressurized water reactor because we need some better uh, engines so madison could you start work on that that's going to take you to september 21 that's fine that's fine we can we can hold by that i'm i'm all right by that um right so i'm going to fast forward now because i want 
our military academy to be built and it is currently halfway through um so let's push forward a little bit so they've completed research in the geological service center as brilliant that is very good someone's been promoted to commander and someone's also got a serious medical condition that is fine that is fine um so research i tell you what just to get this done because we want the better engine you can have 10 more labs you'll be finished by well next month wow cool right um next on the list then is um i'm just looking for something cheapish that i might want to look in armor that's a good thing do we have any match and sightness yeah bethany can you research that for me you're not gonna take long because it's only 250 points um when are you ready you're 38 so it's still a while off yet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cancel you i'm gonna line up something now because this is should we get this done i'm tempted just to get this done yeah let's get that done let's just get it done um science team so they've completed their research in the pressurized water reactor brilliant um power and propulsion um nuclear thermal engine that would be useful yeah if you could do that for me madison it might take a little bit it's not gonna take that long beautiful let's get 30 day chunks one first september so they finished both of them are finished now wow okay we are going flying through um so power and propulsion let's yeah let's just give you 10 to work on that that's gonna be ready by december and probably let's think about what might need yours don't want to be wasting time you want to be really concentrated on what we're doing but we're going to get most of these tell you what let's um start working on some mason they're basically close fire weapons um yeah let's do that let's start looking at some weapons we have no matching scientists so since you're not doing anything bethany uh, it's kind of the same sort of thing you've got it um right we just need to get this done which is going to be ready in a couple of months and then i'll be very happy ah two thousand tons has been added good um shipyards so i want you to add another thousand maybe two thousand a thousand i think a thousand will do let's set activity i want you to add another thousand um also because commercial is only ten thousand what i'm gonna do is click on continual and it'll go up to two it'll just start building continually up to two thousand um twenty thousand even so let's keep going well on the 5th of december you've completed work in the pressurized water reactor perfect so we have 10 labs available um power and propulsion pebble bed reactor <laughs> Yeah, let's do that one because that's going to be a bit of a quick job and that's going to give us a bit of better engines when we come to design them. Uh, one fifth of... So that should mean the Military Academy is done. Good. Final task for today then before I finish this video is we have a conventional industry now. We now need to change them into trans-Newtonium element factories and stuff and they will be so much better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert cl which is conventional factory we have thousands of them to construction factories and mines so you i am gonna say i want one out of the thousand i want six no let's say 700 i'm gonna give you 70 percent of the factories to do that and mines i'm gonna give you 300 and 30 percent now that is 2039, which is a long time. However, because each time these, because just construction factories are so much better, each time one of these is built and I convert, this will go up. This should be done in maybe about three years. I would think in about three years. Um, and I think that is going to be good. And I think that is where I'm going to end this video. 
Uh, that is episode one. Thank you very much for watching. And next episode, we'll be designing our first ship, which is very exciting. So I will catch you all later. Goodbye.